Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the all new 2023 Ford Super Duty. Before getting into the video, though, as always, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Let's talk about this all new Ford Super Duty. So, first off, from an exterior styling perspective, not a lot has changed. Now, obviously the headlights look slightly different, the taillights look slightly different, but the overall truck looks pretty similar to the previous version of the Super Duty. So I would call this more of a refresh from an exterior styling perspective rather than a full on redesign. Uh, the biggest change though with the styling is everything's kind of softer with the lines and with the headlights. And so you just don't have as many harsh lines as what you had before. Cause like the headlights before it's just like dunk. Whereas now the headlights are kind of rounded off a little bit with the daytime running light. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the styling over. I, I think it looks uh, pretty good and it looks just a little bit more modern. It's what most automakers are going for. It's just kind of like softer styling with their cars, which is interesting to say the least. But the big change has happened to the interior. So just like we guessed, the new Soup Duty has the same interior as the new F-150 half ton. So you can get a full digital gauge cluster and higher packages, a 12 inch infotainment system, which actually you could also get in the 22 model year, but well, it's also here with the 23 model year as well. Uh, lower down packages will have an eight inch infotainment system, which it's crazy that like an eight inch screen in a vehicle is considered base nowadays. Like it's yeah, just, just think about that, for example. But all of the same upgrades you can get in the half ton you can get in this new Super Duty. So the upgraded Bang & Olufsen sound system, the full recline feature with the seats, still has a column shifter, very important, still has a column shifter, wireless phone charging pad, and on top of that center console has the table function just like the half ton. So, I mean, you literally have all the same cool features that you get in the half ton. And the biggest thing is just a much more modern looking interior because the 22 Super Duty was looking pretty outdated from an interior perspective, especially when you like looked at it right next to a half ton. Now, aside uh, from the interior changes and the slight exterior changes, we are gonna get a new package. It's basically an off-road package for the XL. And so it's like a base model off-roader, which I think is pretty cool. It's gonna come with 33 inch tall all-terrain tires and electronic locking rear differential. So just solid uh, from that perspective. But the exciting news with this video comes with some of the tech. So basically Ford has taken all of their towing and I guess bed technology and thrown it at the Super Duty. So it basically has pro power on board, just like the half ton. You also have the whole uh, payload measuring system, just like the F-150 Lightning, which is super important for a heavy duty truck because there's so many people that like overload their heavy duty trucks. You know, they throw on the fifth wheel and they throw a bunch of stuff in the bed and they throw people in the truck and they don't realize that like they're over what they should be with the payload. So I think this will actually help out quite uh, a few people. And the biggest thing with this new Super Duty is Ford is emphasizing the technology with this truck over the previous version of the Super Duty. So they're, again, they're throwing everything at it. It also is gonna come with adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and it's going to have braking assist. So like all of the modern safety tech you can get in a vehicle is going to be available with this new Super Duty. And it's also going to have a pretty crazy Wi-Fi hotspot that apparently will be able to support like 10 devices at once, which, I mean, I've never used a Wi-Fi hotspot in a car, but I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I can imagine someone at like a job site having all of their workers on the Wi-Fi so they can look at memes instead of working, but no, you know, obviously use it for work-related purposes. And then you do have uh, blind spot monitoring as well with the truck that also works for the trailer, which is really cool. Obviously that's a nice bit of safety tech. And then the 360 camera system has slightly been tweaked. Um, so resolution should be a little bit better on the images. And then on top of that, if you have like the tailgate down, they have another camera that's put on top of the tailgate so that you're going to be able to still basically see with normal backup camera viewpoint. So that's great because if you guys have ever put your tailgate down with the camera, then all you see is the ground, which is definitely a big plus. But moving on from that to what you guys probably wanna hear about is the powertrains with the new Super Duty. So we have a new 6.8 liter gas V8 paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And I wanna say that all of the uh, engines are paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. So like, we'll just put that aside. We still have the 7.3 gas V8 as well. And then we have a new version of the 6.7 liter power stroke. So starting with the 6.8 liter gas V8, and by the way, we don't have power figures on any of these powertrains, sadly. I think that Ford's kind of 
rat-holing those figures for now because they're waiting to see if Ram does anything before they like <laughs> release this truck and also Ford likes to create like double hype like they're creating hype behind like the Super Duty being out and then they want more hype once they release official figures down the road with the powertrains but with the 6.8 liter V8 being the entry level powertrain it's safe to assume it's going to have at least 400 horsepower and it's probably going to have like less than 500 pound feet of torque now the Godzilla V8 the 7.3 uh, liter V8 right now has like what 430 horsepower 475 pound feet of torque so they said that they revised a few things with it to get, make it a little bit more powerful. So maybe, what, 450, 500 pound-feet of torque. It's probably not going to be a huge uh, increase, but it'll still be more powerful than what we currently have. So really solid uh, powertrains uh, with that whole setup. Now, the big news is the power struck. They're going to have a new high output version. So we're not getting a super boost quite yet, which is sad. If you guys are wondering what the super boost is, basically the power stroke paired to a hybrid system, just like what you have with the F-150 EcoBoost where you can get the power boost. So... Yeah, we're not getting that, but this new high output version is going to be the most powerful diesel powertrain that you can get in a stock truck, which that means that we're going to have over 500 horsepower because the, I completely uh, just tripped all over my words there, but what I was trying to say is with the high output version of the power stroke, we're going to have for sure over 500 horsepower and 1100 pound feet of torque because right now, the power stroke produces 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. The Ram Cummins produces less horsepower at 420, but it produces more torque at 1,075 pound-feet. So Ford's definitely going to beat uh, that torque figure, and, well, they're going to beat their own horsepower figure. And, well, Chevy's not e even in the game anymore. I actually made a meme today about it that I thought was really funny. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because sometimes I post funny memes. But anyways... Their new Duramax is going to produce 470 horsepower and then like 975 pound-feet of torque. So like, yep, Ford's going to take the crown again. Now, this new high output version, it doesn't sound like it's going to be standard. So we're probably going to have like the standard version, which will be 475, 1,050 pound-feet torque. And then you'll be able to upgrade to the high output, which will probably be over 500 horsepower and over 1,100 pound-feet of torque, which is just absolutely crazy. Like, you guys got to remember, this is like a truck that, you don't need a commercial driver's license to like buy and it has that much torque like take that in for a second like semi trucks range like typically i mean you know there's some that are out of this range but typically range between a thousand pound feet of torque and two thousand pound feet of torque and that's a freaking semi truck this is a, just a regular pickup truck it's just absolutely crazy so what does this mean for the heavy duty truck market so first off with the new interior and all of the tech bits this really pushes the ford super duty up to the top just because of all the equipment it has the ram 2500 and 3500 have a really nice interior but they just don't have quite as much tech as what this new ford has and so i think that is going to push some people over to ford and on top of that ford's powertrains with the new super duty are quite a bit more modern especially the transmission right ram still uses six speed automatics for two of its diesel well the two versions of its diesel powertrain and then it uses a more modern eight speed automatic for its gas engine which i have no complaints about but yeah older transmission for their diesel powertrain so that definitely holds them back a bit and then we already know the stats on the new duramax which just doesn't even compete with ford and so like yeah, this, this definitely just puts Ford back in first place. I'll have to see if this really holds up once I'm able to review the truck in person. But I'm pretty excited about this new Super Duty. I think that this is like a huge step in the right direction. And it's Ford doing what Ford does best. And that is just kicking the crap out of everyone for at least a certain amount of time before the other two automakers have a chance to kind of do something. But with the release of the new Duramax, we kind of have Chevy just off to the side at this point, and we have to just cross our fingers and hope that Ram is going to answer Ford with something even crazier than what Ford is releasing with this new Super Duty. Let me know what you guys think about this new Super Duty. If you're thinking about buying this new Super Duty, or if you're going to wait to see what Ram does with their new 2500 and 3500 when they do some changes with that truck. And with that being said, I'll see you.